ultimately I feel there is no choice. Mm. Like we think there's choice. And we want to be in this limbo, you know, oftentimes, of course, like I, I work with clients who, oh, I don't know. I don't know about my life. You always know. But we're confused mm. and we also love playing to be confused, right? Because we're told that our innermost knowing is not to be trusted. I mean, and, we, and we've been indoctrinated, you know, to mm. that from so many, in so many ways, whereas we do know, we always know. And when I look at my life, like I knew that I was going to meet a man that already had had children. I knew that I was going to have a boy and a girl. I knew. So there were so many things like I knew. I knew how I was going to meet him. I knew, you know, the unfolding. And but we like to kind of be like, oh, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we do. Yeah. It's like when you go to the movies, sometimes you don't want to know the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm just going to pretend I don't know the end. It's like, but we do. And at the same time, the experience, you know, because it's different. It's like knowing, like I can go on top of the Eiffel Tower and I can look at Paris and go like, wow, Paris is beautiful. But then when I walk through the streets of Paris mm. and I have the experience, it's completely different. So I have to walk the streets in order to have the experience. The knowing is not enough. Mm. It's we're here for the actual experience, right? Like everything that we, and, and that's why also our desires need to be fulfilled because it's through the fulfillment of the desire mm. that we receive the lessons that we came here for. So it's not so much the mm. desire fulfillment, it's what happens in the fulfillment.